Hello and welcome to Job Hunting Top Tips Number One, Networking. Now, this is a word that you may have heard um, in various circles, but what actually is networking all about? Well, networking is simply having useful work-related conversations with people who can play a part in helping you get from where you are to where you want to be in your career. I'll just repeat that, hopefully I'll remember it. Networking is simply having useful conversations with people who can play a part in helping you get from where you are to where you want to be in your career. So from now on, what I want you to do is see every adult that you come into contact with as somebody who can potentially help you in your career. You see, many people have got their current jobs through networking conversations that they've had, where somebody has said to them, I can help you with that, or I know somebody who can help you with that. So networking is really important in addition to actually looking for job vacancies. So where do you start with networking? I always say start off with your current network, your friends and your family. So let's say, for example, you know the kind of job you want to do. Let's say you want to be a, a police officer. Maybe there's somebody within your uh, friendship circles or somebody in your family who's a police officer. Have a conversation with them about the work that they do. Never make assumptions that you know all about the type of work you want to do. It's really important that you speak to somebody who does that job role so you can find out what it's really like on a day-to-day -day basis. And even if you don't know somebody, still ask your friends and family um, if there's anybody that they know that does that particular type of work, because they may say to you, well, I, I don't do the work myself, but I know somebody, I've got a friend or somebody who's a neighbor of mine that does that particular job, and they can put you in touch with that person for you to have a conversation with them. So always start off with your, your current circle of friends and co other contacts. Um, another source you can use is social media. I'm, I'm sure that you're on social media and you can use this for your benefit when it comes to networking. So again, if you know the kind of job you want to do and there's nobody in your, um, your immediate friends or family that does that type of job, go on social media and say, look, I'm interested in being a police officer. Does somebody know anybody out there who is a police officer? And with your hundreds of friends that you have on social media, I'm sure that somebody somewhere will know somebody that you can have a conversation with. That is what networking is all about. And then you can be in a position to ask lots of questions. Now, even if you don't know what you want to do in the future, networking is still really important. So always make the most of opportunities that you have to speak to adults about the work that they do. And just generally get curious. You see, your knowledge of jobs is, I'm sure, quite limited. The jobs you know about, you know about them because um, your family, somebody in your family or your friend does that particular job. You see somebody doing that particular job out and about in your local community, or you see somebody doing a job on television. But that's only really scratching the surface. Most of the jobs that exist, you and I know nothing about. So it's really important that you get curious and you start to ask questions about the work that people do because you may find that that's the kind of job that you might want to do as well yourself in the future. So whether you're at the gym or when your mum's friend pops round for a cuppa, have a conversation with them. Ask them about the kind of work that they do. What are the kind of questions that you could be asking? Well, what do you like about your job? What don't you like about your job? What does the future hold? for people in your industry or people in your company? What does the future hold for your job? Uh, what's the impact of Brexit or the pandemic on your industry or your job? Um, for the people who are most successful in your type of work, what are their key skills and qualities that make them successful? What advice would you give to me if I'm interested in doing this type of work? And when you advertise, where do you advertise? So if you're asking those types of questions, that will really help you to make decisions about your future, whether you're interested in that type of work or not. And finally, I would always say, get onto LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a fantastic resource. It's a bit like Facebook, but it's for professionals. Companies are on LinkedIn. 
People with specific job titles will be on LinkedIn. And it's a great way to find out more about companies and what's going on in those companies. And also you can have get to the point where you can have a conversation with somebody with a particular job title that you might be interested in. So LinkedIn is worth registering on and and starting to explore and using the search to find people with certain job titles and and also um, following companies that you might be interested in. So there's some top tips on how you can job hunt, in particular when you are networking.